Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is about understanding input function, data type conversion and data step compilation phase. Input function and put function are two popular functions to do data type conversions. For this topic, I will limit myself to input function. If you want to know more about put function and input function in detail, I will give a link for the same in the description below wherein it goes into much more details about put function and input function. For this topic, I would like to focus on what I want to tell about input function and data type conversion and data step compilation phase. So now let's get into the input function. Input function takes character variable as source and can return a character or numeric value on the basis of informat supplied. Now let us try to understand this through an example. So as I am saying input function works on character variable as source. Here I am taking variable a in which I have a numeric value but it is in quotes so basically this is a character variable with a numeric value now i can create another character variable or numeric variable depending upon the in formats i provide now let us look into the first variable which i am creating here i am creating variable a1 and i am saying equal to input a and applying dollar 5 dot as in format this is a character in format whenever we use a character in format it is going to create a character variable whereas in the case of a2 i am using a numeric in format and when we use a numeric in format it is going to create a numeric variable now there are couple of other things to understand in here in here the variable a has the length of 3 a1 as we are using the in format dollar 5 dot it will have the length of 5 whereas a2 will have a numeric variable now why this happens we can go little bit in detail by using a data step compilation phase now let us look into how data step works data step works in two phases the first one is known as compilation phase where data attributes are set and the second phase is known as execution phase when the data is read now for this topic i'm going to concern or i'm going to limit my discussion only to compilation phase where the data attributes are set what happens when we run this data step is the first the compilation phase runs wherein it first looks into variable a as we have quotes in here and it is and it has only the length of 3 what will happen is it will in PDV, it will define the variable A as a character variable with the length of 3. Whereas in the case of A1, as we are giving the in format $5 dot, it will create a character variable with the length of 5. Whereas in the case of A2, as the in format is 5 dot, it is going to create a numeric variable. Now let me quickly run this data step and see our results. In here, we can see our results wherein the variable A has length of 3, variable A1 has the length of 5 and it is also a character variable but A2 is a numeric variable. Now the important thing to understand in here is depending on the in formats we provide we are going to create those type of variables. To sum it up 
whenever we use character in format with the input function we are going to create character variables and when we use numeric in format we are going to get numeric variables now let us look into another example wherein the things or the results are not the same as you expect but there is a reason for it and this is a common mistake many new or beginner programmers do now let us start with our example in here i am creating a data set t and let's quickly run this and in here we have our result we have a character variable which has 10 comma 000 as our result and then we want to convert this character variable into numeric variable and in here i have the code for the same and in here to convert this character variable into numeric variable i am using a numeric in format comma six dot another important point to remember is i am using the same variable name to do the conversion if you see in the earlier cases i had a variable and to convert i have created a new variable i have not done on the same variable but the important point to know is what happens when we do something like this and more than often most of the new programmers try to do something like this that's why i want to emphasize this again and again and now let's quickly run this and in here you can see that the conversion did not happen and again we have the same data type that is character variable and everything is same except that our value of a is converted little bit differently that is we don't have comma anymore now let us try to understand this why this is happening and for this we again need to understand how data step works again data step has two phases wherein it works the first phase is compilation phase where the data attributes are set and the second phase is execution phase where the data is read in the compilation phase as i said to you earlier variable attributes are set and again one another important point to remember here is if we have a variable mentioned multiple times like in set statement we already have our variable a and again we are creating another variable here a data step compilation phase only looks for the first instance and only the first instance matters and i have made a video on this topic link for the same i will give in the description below now let us come back to our point in here so as the set statement has the data set t in the data set t this variable is defined as character so in compilation phase we will have this variable as character no matter what we do in here the compilation phase will always set to the first instance that is where we have set our variable to character and that is in our set statement t now when this input statement runs that is during execution phase that is when the data is read what it does is it tries to convert this value into a numeric value that is it reads this 10 comma 000 and it removes this comma and tries to read as a numeric because our variable is a character variable even though it has read it as a numeric value what it does is it in the back end or you can say implicitly it converts back into character value now to understand this let's quickly look into the log what the log says to us in the log it says that numeric values have been converted to character values which means in fact when we use this in format comma six dot with input it did convert to numeric value but what has happened was 
it was not able to stay as a numeric value because our variable has been defined as a character so what it does is it goes back to character value that is what it means numeric values have been converted to character values now to sum it up i would like to say one very important thing whenever you want to convert a data type if you do something like this wherein you are using the same variable and you are also doing the conversion where the attribute is first defined will take over in this case because the set statement the variable value its character even though we want to convert as numeric that will never work that is the same case whenever you want to do any data type conversion now you might be thinking how do i convert this without much of fuss so one important thing to do in here is you just can't use the same variable at both the sides so what do you need to do is you need to rename this variable wherein we need to say a equal to a underscore car it does not matter what variable you want to rename it as i have just renamed it as a underscore car now what this will do now during our compilation phase once again everything starts from here and in here you no longer have a variable a because you have renamed it to a underscore car and this a underscore car has all the attributes of a now we have in our pdv during compilation phase we have a underscore car and it's a character variable and its length is 6 and once this is done what happens is during compilation phase it also looks into the next step wherein we have variable a and this variable a because there is a comma 6 dot it sets the variable attributes to numeric and here i would say it is numeric and now our variables are set now when we run this code what happens is it creates a new variable a and it will have a numeric value so we started with a and we have a and we have converted into numeric but we cannot do something like this but by renaming and then creating a new variable with the same name will work as we do not want to have this a underscore car because it's of no importance for us we can use a drop statement once these two steps are executed what will happen is it will drop this particular a underscore car variable another important thing to remember is during compilation phase it also remembers that you have a drop statement and it will have a flag for drop and once execution and everything is done it will drop this variable now we have variable a and it is numeric now let us quickly run this and see our result in here we have variable a and it is a numeric and you can see from in here and let's also look into the log in the log we don't see any thing related to conversion and one important point i want to emphasize once again before wrapping up the whole topic whenever you want to do data conversion please do not use the same variable what has earlier been defined as character into numeric that doesn't work instead rename it to another variable name and then create the variable name you want and then drop the variable which you have renamed that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share subscribe and thank you